Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. So I'm going to be looking at task 13k. So the question says, open the file that you saved in task 13j. In the lower table, center align the content of the, sorry, the content of, the, of row one, both horizontally and uh, vertically. So what I'm going to do is first of all, open the task, uh, task card. 10j which is this right now i'm going to select the row one of the second table that's the what they call it again they call it the lower table so which is this second table okay so i'll select everything and then go to layout here and then of course choose this center uh align center so that will actually align my um, my table vertically and horizontally right good so the next thing i want to do is to remove all grid lines from from this table except those cells containing the uh, maximum and uh, minimum temperatures during this week okay so let me first of all remove the grid lines so i'm going to select click on this plus up here to select all my tables so i want to go to um, uh, table design so whenever you select Whenever you select the table, once the table is selected, so as you can see, it's not selected now, so you won't be able to see the formatting uh, tabs. So, but once I select the table, the formatting tabs will come out. So, the table design and the layout. So, I'm going to click on the on the table design. I want to go to borders. So, I want to remove all the borders, no borders. I want to remove everything here, right? So, um the maximum minimum minimum temperature so i want to select sorry I, I will select only these right these two and then put on my control key and select this so this uh, three rows indicate the maximum and the minimum temperature so i want to go back to um border borders here so i want to select all borders for these particular cells right so that will uh, answer that question so i want to see the next thing so that will answer the, the question here so in the top uh, table set the background color of all cells in the top two rows and then the row seven to yellow so so we'll go back so this is the top the top table here so we want to select the top uh row i suppose yeah the top the, the top two rows okay so i'm gonna select this top two rows here and then the row seven of course one two three four five one two three four five six seven so the north so i'm gonna hold on my control key also and then select the north and then um, i want to go to shading and then uh select uh yellow here okay the shading is from is still from uh table design so that's done so in the lower in the lower table shade the uh the background of the top row the top row the background of the top row with pale uh blue colored diagonal lines right um so what i'm gonna do here so uh our interest is on this particular um row for the second or the lower table so we want to want to go to uh okay, let me let me just right click let me just go to shading uh no no let me let me just right click right here and go to table properties i want to add i want to go to borders and shading here uh, my interest will be on uh, my interest will be on shading so when i go to shading i want to go to style under shading i want to select under style i want to select the dark or uh, diagonal all right so as you can see the preview uh, by the right side of this uh, dialog box okay so i like the blue the blue that is showing me here i think 
the blue color it's perfect for i think uh a pale blue so i think I'll, this is a pale blue so i can i can okay that so i can okay everything and then when you click outside you can see uh that um your the first row of the second table is now shaded with a pale blue uh diagonal um lines right so the, the next thing i'm going to do is actually to save uh this table as tax uh, 13k so i'm going to save as go to browse and then um, save it as tax 13k then i'll save that okay so that's how you can achieve that please if you have any question you can leave a comment down below okay i will see you in the next one bye